Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in. What we have today in front of us is the Suzuki Access 125. Uh, this is the special edition. This is the Royal Bronze color. So I feel this is India's best 125cc scooter. And ever since Bharat Stage 6 emission norms have been introduced, uh, the, the engineers and the designers at Suzuki have updated this like it feels like a million times already. You know, bits and bobs have kept changing. Uh, the main thing that changed is this LED light cluster up here, as you can see. It's got white LEDs. So this one is the low beam, and this one is the high beam. Uh, later on in the video, I'll definitely show you guys how it looks like at night. Uh, as I mentioned, this is the royal bronze color. And as you can see in these turn indicators, there's still the bulb type. And another update that they did recently, uh, this is the 2020 model. So for the 2020 model, what they did change in November was they added LEDs over here as well. Again, um, later in the video, I'm gonna show you how this looks at night. So the model right before this, uh, it also had the LEDs up here in the headlight cluster, but this down here, it was still the, um, how do you say, the bulb type. So it had that um, orange color glow so that was not really that really didn't fit in you know when you have an led um light cluster red light cluster and then down it's like orangish in color um but yeah so this is the special edition and what that means is you get uh, alloy wheels and you get disc brakes so the wheels up front are 12 inch and the wheels out back are um 10 inch so again this uh these chrome rear view mirrors are another feature of your uh, special edition uh, Suzuki Axis and again another feature of the Suzuki Axis special edition would be a uh, Bluetooth uh, connectivity and a Bluetooth and sorry an all digital instrument cluster so when I turn this back on there we go, it's on. and that will give you features like uh, you can use for navigation um, you can also use um, features like uh, it tells you uh, how much fuel you have left um, it also tells you your uh, autometer readings it also tells you your trip reading so it's got a few features on that app all right so this is the rear section this is another feature of the update you've got an external fuel filler cap so you don't have to lift the seat i think it's really good because for the most part what happens is when it's inside or under the seat rather if say the fuel uh, station attendant drops a few drops of fuel uh, it's gonna smell the in inside of the seat but when it's on the outside well it doesn't smell that bad you can see that's the badging right there uh, this is a mandatory accessory uh, this is uh, for women in India because a lot of uh, women in India sit sideways and uh, because they wear saris and because of that they have this mandatory accessory uh it's a footrest basically i asked the dealership if i could get one without it but they said no uh, so here it is so there is a, a kickstarter as well besides the um, automatic start you've got foot pegs right there i got the accessories foot which is this uh, floor mat um, i also got the hand grip right here as an accessory and this black seat cover also is an accessory so that's it i did not get um the steel protection guard that they put around the bike i just got three accessories the hand grips um the floor mat and the seat cover right there so yeah let me show you the uh seat the storage there we go so as you can see this is normally where you would have the fuel filler in the older models but you don't have it anymore so that is a full face helmet let me set that right here that's a full face helmet right there but it's the standard size you get a bigger size that usually you'd see in higher capacity sports bikes or higher capacity cruiser bikes that's not going to fit in the space so here you go that's an idea for you that's about 21.8 liters 22 liters approximately and it does fit an entire full face helmet so i'm going to put it back in there i'm going to close it that's it so yeah what i'm going to do is a little 
later i'm gonna come back in the evening and i'm gonna show you how this looks at night well for you it's not gonna take long all right guys as promised this is nighttime and all we have is the moonlight up there so it's relatively dark as you can see i'm gonna just take a pan shot and there's not much in terms of light over here so i've got this secluded place that i was at earlier in the day now i'm going to show you uh i'm going to turn on the lights and i'm going to show you how it looks at night all right there we go so that's low beam and these are the leds that i had mentioned earlier so in the previous model they had your regular bulbs and they were orange brown in color and now they're leds so it completes the look you know what i mean you got leds in the headlight cluster and you've got these led uh daylight uh running lights basically so there you go that's the throw and i'm gonna set this right above and now i'm gonna go to high beam So that's high beam, it's low beam, high, low. So that's it, there you go. Wanted to show you how this looks at night. That's the stoplight, the Suzuki stoplight. And let me put on the blinkers. There you go. These are bulb type. It would've been so cool if those were LED as well. But oh well, what you gonna do? And this is the rear. So all in all, I think this is a fantastic scooter. Of course, it does have some drawbacks, I'm sure. Um, like I'm sure a lot of people like the exhaust note of the TVS and Torque, and maybe they think that's much quicker. Props to TVS. Uh, they're doing good numbers in terms of sales. So let me turn the blinker off. So I'm gonna switch off and i'm going to show you how dark it is out here there you go absolutely dark in the secluded spot at 8 p.m i'm going to switch on the lights one more time there you go all right guys so that was the suzuki access 125 2020 model and the reason i say 2020 model is um there is an update let me switch again to a spot that has more light and we'll continue there. This is a 2021 model and the reason being that this does not have the engine kill switch over here. A 2021 model was launched about six days ago and it features a red color button that has the starter down here and the engine kill switch up here. So that is the 2021 model launched about six days ago. So if you plan to buy now, that's the model you're going to get. So thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please hit the like button if you found this video informational. And thank you for tuning in, guys. See you on the next one.